Uh, hello, I'm Steve and I'm going to show you how to IP or re-IP a Salto controller. Um, it's quite simple, there are just a couple of steps, but you've got to be uh, meticulous in how you carry out these steps. Um, otherwise the controller won't actually let you put it in addressing mode. So, first things first, remove the, sc the screws, take off the cap. Your controller is likely going to be wall mounted, so this is what you should see, something similar. Um, when you remove it as well, you'll see the tamper light come on, unless you have a tamper loop in like what we have here. So if you see, when I remove this particular loop, the tamper light goes red. So, if not, it will go off. As soon as you take the cover off, it will go red. Once you remove the tamper loop, you then need to put it into the dressing mode. There's a small white button in this case next to a CLR label. If you press and hold that down for five seconds, you'll put the uh, controller in what we call a dressing mode. So then it is ready for you to connect to it via the internet. The IP address will now have set itself to 192.168.0.234. Um, you'll know that because the light's flashing. It flashes out once it's in the dressing mode. If it's not flashing, then there's something wrong. So press and hold it five seconds. This will start flashing. Just okay, so this is a bit of a close-up shot for you. So once you remove the control, this is the tamper loop. If you don't have the tamper loop, essentially you don't have to remove this because the tamper light will be already, already be illuminated red. And that's due to this clip here, which is deactivated when you uh, remove the uh, cover. And you just press and hold this clear button for five seconds. Once you've done that, you see that the input light on the 12 volt section starts flashing amber. Remove the cable at the bottom, the RJ45 cable, and then insert your crossover cable there. This light will stop flashing once you send the details from the browser. Now, one thing you will need to do this is a crossover cable. If you don't have a crossover cable, this isn't going to work. So, all you do, remove the RJ45 cable from the bottom, insert the one on your crossover cable, connect it to your computer or laptop, this one's going straight in the back here. Now, the important thing is, because the IP address on this device is now 192.168.0.234, your IP address on your computer needs to be 192.168.0.234 anything. In this case I've set it to .0.200. Now all I need to do in a browser, in this case I'm using IE, is browse to 192.168.0.234 and here you can see we've got static, dynamic. Static IP addressing is what I would recommend as a best practice. Dynamic obviously it will pick up from a DHCP. If you set it to that static, you can then set the IP address, the subnet mask and the gateway. Once you've set that, all you then need to do is click send at the bottom. And as you can see here, we've got static, your IP address, your net mask and your gateway. Once you set all these values, click send in the bottom right corner. And once you click send, you'll then see on the controller, the amber light will stop flashing and it will go back to green. What will happen is then, it will send the details to the controller. The controller will pull the details through and then the amber flashing light will stop flashing and it will return back to green. Letting you know that basically it's done, it's completed. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed watching.